Like, a key-based system can work, but you need to do a lot of work with making it less generic. The Temple of Light. Cool. Why are we here? All right. This is Mirage Palace. Of course, we'd be here. Nem is pretty much key. I am so glad to see you are all safe. After all, if you had sustained injury along the way, I wouldn't be able to enjoy hurting you myself. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Fuggity! <laughs> is a demon! Never saw that coming. Eh, this won't be bad. Actually, it will be. These are Doom Swords. And Doom Swords hurt! They pretty much attack the unit. Good so far. And Shred. Right side, demons attack really slowly, so... easy. Oh, that's it? That's it? That was kind of disappointing. Okay, solved three of these, so I guess this path. It is unwise to get oh no! Kedra Zombie! It's here to fuck up your lawn! Huh, I wonder where we're gonna be going for this one. Common Rider usually doesn't have an OP problem. That's good, at least. They at least respect their power scaling. Good. I remember those woods. Like, if you're going to be doing some type of story that involves a lot of combat, you need to be aware of your power scaling. And if you let it get out of control, it's going to ruin your plot. Because at some point, it's just going to boil down to, oh, hey, let's use this th this OP thing that has always worked. Nothing becomes a challenge anymore. You know what? This is kind of... Actually, this is... This, this conversation is kind of wearing me out a little bit. The exception is Kabuto, but because his personality is just Mr. Perfect. Okay, that makes sense. Because at that one, his personality is the flaw. <laughs> My power is perfect. Yeah, except your brain isn't. Crime and nitly. Actually, that's almost the perfect way to offset a character that thinks they can do no wrong. By making them full of holes. If anything, that's personality about that's personality power scaling. <laughs> Uh, are you apologizing for again? No, just like, uh... It... The reason why I'm a little weirded out that this conversation is happening is because I had this exact same conversation with my sister. Let's see, carry the one minus the two, about 11 hours ago. No, you're not wearing me out, dude. 
Honestly, you're not. I like talking fiction. I'm weird like that. I like talking fiction and how to write a good story. Part, part of it's simply because I want to be able to write a good story myself. And as a result, I look at a lot of different types of fiction and storytelling and I'm fascinated by it. If anything, if anything, the most that this conver the least that this conversation is doing is keeping my interest in place. And that's a good thing. Because I can use this as inspiration. I can think about how I can line up a story. Again, it's a good thing. Ah! Everyone's dying. Everyone is dying. Kevin, save me. Cave, okay, save me with your OPness. Oh my. I just realized what I said. <laughs> Even when a common writer gets their final form, they still don't one shot enemies. Good! It's good. It's treated as a power up, but not a drastic one. That's a good thing. That means they respect proper balancing. Which I get, it's very difficult to do. As uh, someone who's trying to do that type of thing, yeah, I, I understand all too well how hard it is to properly balance things, to properly power balance. Seriously, if you give a character the ability to manipulate one's perception of reality, you have to balance the fuck out of it. Because otherwise, that's just going to be the magic solution to everything. So that's why I put a big caveat on it, and it's, you can manipulate reality, but your own reality gets manipulated too. It's a double-edged sword, to the point that you question whether it's worth it. Oh no. Oh, it's this thing. Actually, this one isn't that bad. I could just punch through this. Right, I was mentioning that, like, I was having a similar conversation with my sister uh, 11 hours ago. Just, we were talking about Digimon, as we do. I've already mentioned I'm a fan of Digimon, and I like how- I like their approach with, uh, power scaling. For the most part... Is it for the most part, it tends to be on point. It, a rookie can definitely not fight a champion. With a few exceptions every so often. A champion definitely can't fight an ultimate, etc, etc. They handle their power balancing well, and when they make an exception, there's a legitimate reason for why they make that exception. For Armor Digivolution, the Digimon are effectively upgrading to an alternate champion form, or alternate ultimate form, in terms of their power. If a Digimon can fight against- if, say, a rookie can fight against a champion, then there's a specific reason why they're able to in that situation. Like, say the champion is a bit nerfed at this point, and it, the battle is easier in the first place. Or even that, uh, Kevin? Better, thank you. Or even that maybe they're able to do so specifically because it's not just one, it's not just one rookie, but like five or six of them. They respect the power balance. They respect that some things are just inherently more powerful, period, and shouldn't be fought. Omazaya is the exception, but future evil dictator of the protagonist, and only does a full fight in the final episode. That makes sense. That's the only point in which it would actually work for them to do that. Again, there's a reason why a character is able to fight them in a specific situation. 
And that's because, and in that case, it's specifically because, well, it's the final episode. We gotta go out with a bang. So why not have a punch out with the strongest character in the series? It makes sense. It doesn't feel like an ass pole. Yeah. Spin kick, save me. Actually, come to think of it, spin kick does a lot of damage in this thing, doesn't it? Because it gets to hit multiple weak points at once. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Helps ally attain more CS. I should probably gimmick with that. Nope. Okay, Zeal becomes Oma Zeal just to rewrite the timeline. Again, it makes sense. To create a good future, punch out the punch out with with something situational. And thinking about it, maybe I should have had Kevin use before this, but oh well. I'll make do. Okay. Blow up. As a rule, Rima Blamings blow up. Yeah, exactly! It only makes sense. Ooh, this is a good opportunity. Miyako Wave! Bang! Ha 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 ha! nut! He just nutted that attack. Will this actually hit the head? Yes, it will! Perfect shot. Good night. Also helps that every year is a story and setting. Yeah, that help that also helps. It's like refreshing the slate every si Yeah. Sorry. It's like cleaning the scoreboard every time you make a mark on it. Just to make sure things work for the next round for the next round, wipe the slate clean, everyone starts from square one, and that way you don't have to worry about power balancing all the time. It's a good idea. If anything, I'd say it's good and effective storytelling. Because if everyone starts at the same square one and gets more powerful as the story progresses, then that's essentially proper scaling in a nutshell. Everyone's doing the right things when they need to, and only when they need to. Such that every character has an importance, every character has a purpose, and it feels consistent. Actually, it's for the same reason that, like, uh... In some cases, Marvel and DC really struggle with that, I've noticed. Because each of them tends to have some type of villain that's just pinnacle. And there's some type of protagonist or antagonist that's just pinnacle that no one can exceed. And they keep scaling that just so they stay at that pinnacle. It's like... No one wants to read a comic with Aquaman, specifically because... 
Aquaman doesn't have great abilities, and never does get great abilities. Even when they do scale Aquaman up, give him not just universal language, but also water manipulation and the spear of Poseidon and Poseidon's spear. He's still weenie. He's still way below the rest of the cast. Yeah, to be honest, I don't blame you on that, because... It's tricky. It's tricky. Nowhere feels like a good point to start, not even the very first issue. In some cases, there are exceptions, but... There's always a reason why that's the exception. Then characters from other comics. Yeah, crossover episodes are also fairly common in comics. And that can also get disorienting, because it's like, wait, weren't you in this? No, actually, I'm from something completely different. Oh. You were the reason why I was here in the first place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, like... Hmm. Come to think of it, the only real comics I think I've read, and even then... I think it'd be Sonic IDW. Classic Looney Tunes. And potentially, uh... Men in Black. Those tended to be fairly easy for you to just get into and enjoy. You didn't always need to have a clear understanding of everything that was going on up to that point in order to get into it. Granted, with Sonic IDW, like, yeah, you still need some information every so often. But, for the most part, for the two arcs that have existed so far, it's been fairly pick-up-and-go. You pick, you start at this specific issue, you're good, and you get to move on with your day. Like, you could- if you could find the first issue of the Metal Virus, you could easily just jump into that, learn as you go, and still enjoy it. Or, you could just Start at the very first, with the very first couple of issues, which were essentially slowly introducing you to the entire Sonic cast. Reappearing villains are also an annoyance. You're right on that one. It's like I understand that. It's like can't you just have a new villain? Why do you have to go back to the same character, the same characters over and over again? It, why does their struggle have to be endless? Can't it stop after a point? Can't there be a resolution? And in some cases, there can be. But in some cases, there physically can't. Because that one specific character is just that persistent. It is tricky, and I do agree with you on that one. What the hell? Why is a chest... Activating a cutscene. Is this a mimic? What? Pandora's box. Huh? Okay, it was as I thought. It's a mimic! This is gonna be simple. Just hit it till it dies.
And I missed. Oh! No. Stop exploding, please. Huh. <laughs> I love how it was barely a drop in the bucket. Yeah, again, I do agree. Sometimes it's nice just to have a different villain for once. Even if it's just for one specific arc. Actually, if anything, like, uh... The RG Comics variant for Sonic kinda did that, but Ken Penders is Ken Penders. Ken Penders is a terrible person. And not a great writer either. I don't care that he essentially got thrust into that since he couldn't get a job writing, uh... Like, if I remember correctly, the reason why Ken Penders... Ken Penders? Was because he wanted to be a writer for another comic series, but got lumped with Sonic instead. So he was just like, yeah, let's use everything in Sonic. And no. It, no. Internet kind of ruined the Joker. <laughs> If I may, can I hear your take on that one? Just on curiosity. Oh my god. Oi, you. I've had enough of you riding my ass. Ass. Uh, okay, nothing over there by the look of it. No! Yeah! I kind of want to hear your take on the Joker. It's on, uh, internet ruin ruining the Joker. I'm actually kind of curious on that one. Again, like, I like think- is I like seeing how people think, and that's a bit of a weirdness for me. Let's see, Internet, maybe think the Joker to be edgy, Erica is that think they're deep and scary, but they're- Yeah, that makes sense. The, uh, Chinibio factor, essentially. <laughs> To be honest, it's just no. Like, victory is easy with reliable companions. I do understand your reasoning on that. Who's on that one? And, yeah, I'll agree. I'll agree on that. But, if anything, it's more like edgy internet guys that think they're deep and scary but are just stupid linked into Joker, if as opposed to the other way around.
could be a trap. Be careful. Like, specifically... How do I explain... How do I explain my stance on this? Just... The big reason why the Joker is the way he is... Is... Essentially... If I remember correctly, he's like a reified variant of what Bruce Wayne despises. Or some type of guilt. I I'm I can't explain it all too well. Joker is an is a Joker specifically is an antagonist. He's a terrible individual. But at the same right, he's the way he is, specifically because While Batman is always above board, I am the law. Joker is kind of, the law doesn't protect everyone, and I'm an example. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that also doesn't help. That incels are essentially appropriating a character that was never meant to represent them in the first place. Actually, am I going in the opposite direction? What? Hold on, this is feeling a little samey. I want to double check that I'm going the right way. Really? That's actually kind of weird. It auto sensors like that? Hmm. I don't know if I can, like, meddle with the. I might want to try it at some point. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't know that, uh, the streaming thing I'm using right now is censored that. Huh. Oh yeah, I did! That actually is kind of strange. Hmm. I have never seen Automod do that. Actually, I didn't know Automod could do that. Okay, so... Permitted- is it permitted a few terms? Hopefully that should settle that. Let me know if the Automod, like, catches anything else weird. And I'll try to... ...adjust it. Probably after stream, but regardless, I'll see about gimmicking with it. Hmm. Though, don't try to push it too hard, just in case. Okay, so... I was going the long way. Get to now. Surprisingly, Simp went through. Strange. No! Why? No! 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 Not this again! Not this again! Okay, my my freakout's over. My freakout's over. I'm good. I'm sane. I am fine. Everything is golden. Everything is yoke. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I have ice saber. I have Ice Saber. I have Ice Saber? I have Ice Saber. I have Ice Saber. I 
I have Ice Saber. I am not 100% screwed. I'm only 95% screwed. Okay, Charlotte, here's the deal. Plug. Uh, you know, when I put up the title for this particular stream as Piles of Mana Not Again, I wasn't expecting to be fighting Zenoa. I legitimately wasn't. And yet, we live in a world where Zenoa comes back. Like cancer for an old man. He just fucking shows up. I should I shouldn't be surprised. But at the same right. Can you blame a raccoon like me for hoping that we never have to see another Zenoa? Just... If I never have to see another Zenoa again, it will be too soon. Oh, good. Uh. <laughs> uh, Zenoa! Just... I am so glad that we never have to see another Zenoa again. I just realized I didn't turn off Arknights. Oops. That explains why my phone is at 45%. That's a problem. <laughs> Legitimately, that's a problem. I need this phone. It's just... Uh, Zenoa. Zenoa. We never have to see Zenoa again. I can be happy. I can be sane. <laughs>